The game takes place in the early years of Poirot's life. With this game, we had a really exciting opportunity to approach the character of Hercule Poirot in, in a new and exciting way. You know, he's an established character, he's incredibly famous, everyone knows all about Hercule Poirot. We were able to create a scenario where a young Poirot, someone who does not have his status in society yet, does not have his fame yet, is put in a situation where people don't care about him, people don't listen to him, and he has to earn that, and he has to fight for it. Monsieur, I will not allow for any further interruptions. And we get to see what he looked like and how he dressed, and we also got to uh, create a unique new moustache, um, which is of course a huge part of the character. It was a really great opportunity for us to kind of create something that I think fans of Hercule Poirot will never have seen before. One of the reasons that uh, we chose this specific time period was because it let us explore quite a lot of different elements about class, about the world, changing times. Uh, the world was kind of on the brink of a large amount of changes. There's, so there's a lot we were able to explore through our characters in the game. Setting the game there allowed us to mine an incredible amount of uh, depth of character for our archetypes. So we were able to create recognizable archetypes, but, but ones with an interesting context to them. We have uh, the factory owner, the newspaper magnate, we have the new money and the old money and the, and the servant class, uh, the union leader. What we were able to do was use the structures and style of Agatha Christie's writing and create a completely brand new experience. So players will go into this as if they're reading a brand new novel they've never read before. You don't know the ending, you don't know the twists and turns. If you ask me, I don't believe anyone did. We took a great deal of inspiration from Agatha Christie's works. We wanted to write a classic whodunit story, and she was a master of that. We've taken inspiration from all of her writing to create something completely new that feels like an authentic Christie story. I ask that you all remain calm and in your seats. I shall begin my investigation immediately. We worked really hard to pull together something that is original while also feeling like a traditional Agatha Christie story. We were able to take those elements and make something completely new, bring in modern sensibilities and themes and mix it into this to create something that is completely unexpected, completely original and present it in this fantastic way with full voice cast, a really, really good voice cast, something we're really proud of. Ah, Detective Poirot, we have been expecting you. At Blazing Griffin, we're not just a games company, we're also a film and TV company. We are storytellers who take advantage of the medium which we're working in. Games gives us a really interesting opportunity to engage players in a way that no other medium can. But there's also something interesting to bring across from those media forms, to look at the narrative structures and flow that they present, but twisting that into one that is player-centric, player-directed. So during the development of our game, we, we consulted with our TV writers and our film writers to create a compelling mystery with twists and turns, but we integrated that with our narrative designers to make sure that these twists were player-led and player-discovered. In terms of gameplay structure, we wanted the game to feel like a Christie novel. We wanted it to feel like a classic Poirot novel. So it's told over a series of chapters and acts. The story is the gameplay. The gameplay is the story. It is a story of self-propelled discovery where you are making connections, you are making deductions yourself to ultimately solve the mystery. The aim of the game was to recreate the core detective experience. The, the challenge of being a detective is being insightful. And that's what we've created here in the game. You collect evidence and the challenge is, can you understand this? Can you understand the connection between this? What can I do for you? I was hoping you would be prepared to answer some questions. A core element of the game is this mind map system that we developed. And the goal behind that was to try and make the player feel like they're inside Poirot's head. What a revelation! You're actively playing with his grey cells. Um, you get to explore and see everything that he's picked up in his mental inventory. And then it's all about making connections. Merci, Monsieur Beckers. It has been a most enlightening conversation. The majority of the game is set within a manor in Belgium. You will be snowed in in this manor, trapped um, when a murder takes place, and you'll have the opportunity to interview the cast of suspects. 
Along with that, you'll be discovering hidden secrets in the manor and revisiting areas with new information collected from your interviews with suspects to see the manor in a whole new light and discover its darkest secrets. Huh. We wanted to create this, this house, this grand mansion, and give the player a lot of space to explore, but also really have it supported by a very rich, very detailed, deep story. So the game really centers around this story and that drives everything as you're going. And that really creates the content for the players as well. All of the characters are things that you have to unlock. You have to get to the bottom of their stories and find their connections. And there's so much depth in all of those aspects of the game. Perhaps you would like to tell us who killed him now? I think if you're a fan of mysteries, detective stories, feeling like a detective, then this game is for you.